Hi, this is Dr. Mike, host of the free iTunes podcast, Psychiatric Secrets Revealed with Dr. Mike. But that's not why I'm here today. This is another Saving Savvy episode. Actually, this is a um, Photography 101 episode where I try to answer the question, how many megapixels do I need? Now, I have to warn you, I might have to stop and start this video because I'm actually baking some bread right now and my timer could go off. So you hear a beep, and we'll have to stop and start again. Anyways, there's been a rush to produce cameras with more and more megapixels for both compact cameras and DSLRs. But how many megapixels do you need? 8, 12, 16, 24, 36? Megapixels are just one small part of the photo's overall quality. Other factors include correct exposure, quality of the sensor, size of the sensor, quality of the processor, quality of the lens, which is really very important, and of course quality of the operator. My original digital camera was purchased in 1996. It was a Kodak DC40, which took a whopping 0.4 megapixel image. At this very low resolution, I could still produce a decent looking snapshot. Eventually, I advanced to a Coolpix 990, which had 3 megapixels, and a Fuji F410, which had a 3 megapixel sensor that you could interpolate to 6 megapixels. The photos from these cameras were actually quite good, and I could easily print an 8x10 from them. And in fact, I shot a wedding as a favor to a friend with the Fuji F410, and I thought the shots turned out pretty nicely. Ken Rockwell notes in his blog that Joe Holmes' limited edition 13 by 19 inch prints of his American Museum of Natural History series sells at a Manhattan gallery for $650 each. They were shot on a 6 megapixel D70. I've seen breathtaking contest winning photos in glossy photo magazines shot on a D200 that has a 10 megapixel sensor. If you try to estimate what's the difference between a 35 millimeter film and a megapixel, it can be very confusing, as the two media are pretty different. For instance, 35 millimeter, 35 millimeter film generally has better dynamic range than digital sensors. In addition, 35 millimeter film's resolution is also subject to many factors like the operator, the lens, proper exposure, etc. Estimates that I have seen suggest that similar resolution can range from 10 to 24 megapixels, with most estimates around 16 megapixels. In this experiment, I'll take two similar shots using a Nikon D3000 with the stock kit lens. The first one is at approximately 10 megapixels, and the second one is at 5 megapixels. Can you see the difference? I can't. This is a 100% crop of the 5 megapixel image. And this is a similarly sized shot of the 10 megapixel image. Can you see a difference? I can't see much of one. It's possible that the crop from the 5 megapixel image is slightly, just slightly softer. The bottom line is that you have to consider much more than megapixels. All current cameras have enough megapixels to print an image as large as you would ever need. Beyond megapixels, it's equally important to consider the quality of the sensor, processor, lens, and of course the operator. This is why pictures taken with a cheap cell phone that offers 2 to 3 megapixels are terrible. Everything is cheap from the sensor, to the processor, to the lens. That's also why some premium compact cameras have less megapixels than their cheaper siblings. The lower megapixel count camera has a better sensor and better components than the cheap one, yielding better pictures. In fact, many professionals still use the Nikon D300, which is a 12 megapixel camera. With that said, if you have the best of everything, you will get more resolution from a super high megapixel camera. Here again, you'll also have to deal with huge file sizes, and for most of us, 
that huge file size will be awkward to use and won't make a difference in the outputted image that we actually have. So hopefully that answers the megapixel question. Don't get too hung up on it. For the vast majority of us, any camera is going to have enough megapixels. Certainly anything from 10 above will have more than enough for any possible purpose that you would have. And beyond that, I'd like to say have a nice day and keep shooting those pictures. Take care.